Hey everyone, and welcome back to another great eShop Deals video, where each and every week we go over all the games that are currently on sale on the Nintendo Switch eShop, and we pick out which would be the best value pickups for the week. Now, just in case you're new to the series or the channel, just a quick mention that I don't go over the deals mentioned in last week's video. If you want to make sure you're not missing out on any games, it's always recommended that you check out that video that will be linked up above. Also, about halfway through the video, we'll be announcing this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card. If you're wondering how you can participate in that giveaway, all you need to do is check out the midweek under $5 eShop deals video and drop a comment in that video. You'll be automatically entered. Due to popular demand, I'll also be including an avoid section this week with two or three games that personally I would avoid for this week. Now just as we get started, don't forget that if you do like the content, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now first entry for this week is going to be Tools Up at 80% off for only $3.99. Now this is basically a great multiplayer couch co-op game where you are renovating homes as a group. Obviously, the difficult part of this is not stepping on each other's toes, but if you have people to play with, this is a great game for some pick up and play fun. If you need any convincing for yourself, you have a free downloadable demo available for the game. Next, we have a game that I'm pulling from this week's under $5 list, and that is Donut County at 70% off for $3.89. Now this is currently one of my favorite puzzle games on the Nintendo Switch, where basically you control an ever-growing hole and your point is to basically suck up everything that is on the stage. It is great laid-back fun with some great animations and some really funny cutscenes. Now next, we're already at one of the top picks for this week, which is Iconoclasts at 66% off for $6.79. Number one, we don't get sales on this game very often, but it is a great 2D action platformer with a really deep and complete storyline on top of it. If you are into 2D platformers and you need to pick something up for this week, make it this one game, even if it has to go in your backlog. Now next, we have a regular entry to the series with the Borderlands Legendary Collection that is still 60% off for $19.99. You basically get three complete Borderlands games for only $20. These are pretty much the best first person looter shooters we have on the Nintendo Switch currently. The only thing about this collection, you have to make sure you have the space on your micro SD card because it is quite voluminous. Now our next entry is a series that is on sale with the Devil May Cry series and my top pick being Devil May Cry 3 at 40% off for $11.99. Now these are some great 3D action games, however with a fair level of difficulty. So be ready for that before jumping in. The only thing after that is that the first one is also a great entry, however the second one is really the weakest of the three and should only be picked up after you've played and loved the other two. Now, while we're on the topic of series that are on sale, we also have multiple LEGO games on sale, and this is my top pick, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 at 75% off for $11.24. Now, these are some great 3D action platformers, and they also have some great co-op modes, especially if you're trying to help out younger players get used to platforming. These are some great games to start with. You also have LEGO Harry Potter that is $12.49 and LEGO DC Villains at $14.99. Now next on the list, we also have the Bioshock collection that is still 60% off at $19.99. Now once again, you're getting three great Bioshock games for only $20. Now these are some great FPS games with little splashes of horror and mysteries to discover throughout each one of the different storylines. Same warning however as the Borderlands collection, the only downside, you have to have a fair amount of space on your micro SD card. Now next, we have Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate at 60% off for $23.99. Now this is one of the most iconic 2D fighting franchises and Mortal Kombat 11 is a great entry. On top of it, in this pack, you're getting all the DLC and all the extra storyline elements. Now while we're on the topic of classic 2D fighters, we also have the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection at 50% off for $14.99. Now this is a great collection for someone who's new to Street Fighter or already a fan, with 12 great entries ranging from the original Street Fighter all the way up to Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Basically, this is probably the best way to get into Street Fighter. 
Now, since we're talking about Street Fighter, I do want to mention that we also have Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers at 25% off for $29.99. Now, this is basically a ground up remake of the original Street Fighter 2 with completely redone graphics and some great smooth gameplay. However, value wise, it is a lot less interesting than the previous collection we just looked at. And this should only be picked up if you're already a fan of Street Fighter 2 and you want the ultimate version. Now next, we have Narita Boy at 50% off for $12.49. Now this is a great 80s themed Metroidvania. On top of it, the neon graphics are really once again one of a kind. However, at full price, this game does have some steep competition on the Nintendo Switch eShop, which is great because now at 50% off, it becomes great value. Now next is a game that I am super glad is getting a sale because we get to talk about it again and that is Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion that is at 30% off for $10.49. Now this is a top down action adventure game, yes along the lines of The Legend of Zelda. Basically it'll have you fighting enemies, solving puzzles and collecting abilities. On top of it all backed by a really enticing and funny storyline. Now we're going to follow that up with another great game that I'm glad is back on sale and that is Forager that is back to 50% off for $9.99. Now this is a 2D open world game that will have you exploring, farming and crafting just like many other games. But what really got me about this game is the awesome top down view, the great animations and also the amazing enemy designs. Now next we have A Hat in Time, the Ultimate Edition at 50% off for $18.49. Now this is actually a really good 3D action platformer. However, just as I said before, at its full price it has some quite steep competition on the eShop. However, at 50% off for $18.49, especially this version with all the DLC included, it really becomes a steal and a must have. Now another returning deal is the XCOM 2 collection that is still 70% off at $14.99. Now this is basically one of the best strategy shooters on all consoles. And as I said every time on the Nintendo Switch, what is a one of a kind experience is having it in a portable format and is really worth, in my opinion, the slight visual downgrade. Now if you're into strategy shooters, haven't played this one, you definitely have to pick it up only warning as the other collections, you need quite a bit of space on your micro SD card. Now, just before moving on, it's time to announce this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card. And this week's winner will be Daniel Heng, who said, thanks for doing this. Hope all is well in the family. And I really want to thank Daniel and everyone else who dropped some kind comments. And I want to let you all know that although we're still waiting on some last tests, everything is pointing out well for my wife. And I thank you all for the support. Now, all you need to do, Daniel, to claim your $5 eShop gift card is reach out to me in my pinned comment in this video down below. So next, we have a great deal that only has a day left on it. So hopefully you're watching this video just as it's coming out. And that is Ashen that is 60% off for $15.99. Now, this is a really great action RPG, however, with Souls-like combat. So yes, it is quite, quite challenging. Once again, it has some great visuals as well. If you're into this kind of game, definitely look at picking this up, especially at a price of only $16. Now next we have a game that actually took me quite by surprise when I tried it and that is John Wick's Hex at 50% off for $9.99. Now this takes the John Wick franchise and puts it in a strategy shooter. So if the XCOM series is not your thing but you are looking for a strategy shooter, I would say that this is another great pickup, especially at only $10. Now next we have a great value pickup for this week with Toki at 86% off for only $1.99. Now this is a great side scrolling arcade shooter and honestly it's been remade from the ground up with some truly great visuals. It took me quite a while to try this game out and I was actually quite taken by surprise at how fantastic it felt if you're into the arcade genre. Now next is a game that I love to suggest when it's on sale and that is Black Future 88 that is 60% off for $7.99. Now this is a 2D action roguelite that will have you scaling a tower before your hearth explodes. 
once again, this is a game that is full price. There are so many roguelites now on the Nintendo Switch that it's really hard to suggest one above the other. But when it falls to $7.99, if you're looking for a new one to jump into, this one becomes some great value once again. Now, next on the list, we have Morbid the Seven Acolytes that is at 50% off for $12.49. Now, this is a game that I've been actually waiting to suggest till it got a bigger sale, just like now. It's a top down action RPG with, once again, souls like combat. However, once again, with the previous sales and its original price of $24.99, I did find that there were a lot better entries on the list. However, now at 50% off, I do think that now it is a seriously good pickup. Next, we're looking at another game making its first entry on this series, and that is Astro Aqua Kitty at 25% off for $11.24. Now, this is an action RPG shoot 'em up adventure where basically you'll be making your way through an underground caverns, fighting off bosses, and completing missions. On top of it, it just got a free update adding a classic arcade shoot 'em up mode to the game. Now, while we're on the Aqua Kitty series, we also have Aqua Kitty UDX making a return at 25% off for $6.74. Although the gameplay of the second one is much more refined, Aqua Kitty UDX is tons of fun nonetheless. So if you pick up the second one, you enjoy it quite a bit, you want to see where the series begun, pick up this one, it is definitely worth the $6. Now next, we have the Wonderful 101 Remastered at 32% off for $27.99. Now if you're looking for a 3D action game with a really original combat style, look no further than the Wonderful 101. This is a game that honestly I find has not got enough love since it had its Switch remaster. On top of it, if you want to try it out, there's a free downloadable demo. Now next on the list, we have Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX at 30% off for $13.99. Now this is a complete remake of a classic Master System game, and it's actually a game I fully reviewed on the channel. And I will definitely say this, before picking this game up, I would definitely recommend you check out a review, because fans of classic 2D platformers will love this game, however people who are get frustrated with games that don't have modern mechanics might want to skip this one. Now next on the list, we have another great value pickup for this week with Woven at 90% off for only $1.99. Now this is another 3D action platformer and at only $2, it is definitely a must have in your collection. You basically play as a stuffed animal that can change out his body parts to make it through different obstacles. Overall at $2, this is some amazing value. Now next on the list, we have Super Squidlet at 20% off for $7.99. Now this is another game that I fully reviewed on the channel and it is another game primarily directed at fans of retro platformers because this game was remade as a Game Boy Color game with all the limitations intact. It is great for fans of retro gaming, however if you're used to modern comforts this one once again should maybe be skipped. Now next on the list we have Cobra Kai The Karate Kid Saga Continues at 50% off for $19.99. Now, this game is a half recommendation because I wish this game would hit the $10 mark, then I could easily recommend it to everyone. But basically, this is a 2D side scrolling beat em up. And the reason I mention it is I actually thought this game was going to be awful. I picked up a physical copy, and you know what? It took me by surprise. My kids love the series, they love playing alongside me and playing as the characters that they know from Cobra Kai, and overall at $20, it's not a bad purchase. Now next is another game I'm pulling from my under $5 list from this week, which is Velocity 2X. This is such a great game, I had to re-mention it here. It's basically a blend of a top-down shoot-em-up and a 2D side-scroller. But what is great about this game is its amazing pace throughout and the fact that it blends these two styles almost perfectly. And at only $5, this game is definitely a steal. Now, our before last entry will be a series regular with the Valferis and Slain double pack back with 65% off at $13.99. These are basically two great 2D action games. However, both are very challenging. One mainly focuses on shooting mechanics, the other one focuses mainly on melee combat, but both have great heavy metal soundtracks, 
amazing graphics, and overall are great pickups at this price. Now, our last entry for this week will be a great value pickup with the Pew Pew Bundle Volume 1 at 90% off for $4.49. Now, in this bundle, you get three great types of shooters, with first, Black Paradox, a great side-scrolling shoot-em-up, secondly, Bleed 2, a 2D platformer bullet hell, and lastly, Xenoraptor, a great twin-stick shooter. And at only $4.49, you will have more than your money's worth in this bundle. So now we make it to the Avoid section. And the first game on our list of avoids for this week would unfortunately be Shing at 50% off for $9.99. Now this is a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up that I had a lot of hope for. Unfortunately, it has some technical issues, and not only that, even if they would solve that with a patch, still the gameplay is repetitive and not that inspired. So if you're looking for a good 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up, I would definitely, even at $10, not look at picking up Shing. Now, the second on the list of avoids for this week would definitely be Garfield Kart Furious Racing at 75% off for $7.49. Look, as a parent, I picked this one up, at least hoping that the gameplay would be solid enough that my kids could have fun with it. But honestly, this game, unfortunately, the controls are bad, the gameplay is repetitive and uninspired, at even at $7.49, I wouldn't even pick this up for my kids. There are way better options on the Switch at only a few dollars more. And last on my voids list is a game that I might not even have to mention is in the void, but Troll and I at 60% off for $3.99 is definitely a game you should be avoiding. I picked this up hoping that one day maybe they would patch it up and the game would be playable, but unfortunately no, it is still a broken game. And unfortunately you'll invest time in this game, get soft lock, have to start over. It's just not worth your time or your investment, even at $4. So that was pretty much it for this week's list of great eShop deals. But now I want to hear from all of you. What games are you picking up for this week? And are there any games that maybe I missed and should have mentioned on this list? Also, I need to take a couple of seconds to really thank the channel supporters. They're helping out more than you know, and you can always check out their names in the credits of the video. And lastly, on the way out, don't forget that if you did like the video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and activate that notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.